Hello. Um, sorry about my makeup. I'm coming from a show, so it's just too much. I know. <laughs> but um, okay, so I am Bhagya Lakshmi Tyagarajan. I'm also from India. I've been here for six years, and uh, um, I am from a family of artists, and uh, I basically have lived in the Indian traditional family uh, from my grandparents to my father to my uh, my brother and everyone is an artist right now um my brother even though he works for microsoft he's still a guitarist and you know so um when i moved to the uk i i didn't know what to expect because um even though i have traveled quite a lot performing indian art and and doing workshops and everything um i came in you in 2010 and uh, what I saw was uh, there was already a huge uh, appreciation for our kind of um, uh, form of dance and music and everything but I felt that there was this gap which was not um, there was this huge gap which was not filled up which was between India and the uh, Indian artists in the UK so there was a huge um, uh, space that we could cover so um, I met Tai Ching in, um, I think, t three years back, and slowly we started talking about filling up this gap, the bridge that we wanted to. So that that's where the idea of Brit India came in, even though we didn't start calling it for a while. So this is uh, Brit India's story. Um, what we started doing is um, we went to a place in Rajasthan, in India, the northern India. We went to Jaipur, and um, uh, we got our own place, which is called Amir Cultural Center which has been leased to us for the next five years. And we have around 30 artists who live there and who, who, who practice there and who create their work, which was showcased last year here at the Glastonbury Festival, at the Leicester Festival and everything, and which, was, which was only possible because of the kind of play, um, help we could offer it to them. Even though last time um, it was fully sponsored by FIPA, the, the um, organization that I work for, um, this year what we are looking for is to expand that how much more we can do, how much more we can help them. The village um, which we want to adopt in the near future, we want to turn, like how Ketna was talking about, we want to turn the village into a cooler place where everyone can go and everyone can see these artists and um, live with them, <coughs> learn how they um, do their day-to-day -day lives, how they perform. Uh, plus, what we are looking at is a, a lot of education and things like that for those children who are really, really small and they don't have any access to the education in India. But um, they are okay. They have to work because there is not much money, so they have to work in order to bring money for them. So that is one of the uh, major aspects that we are looking at for Britain India. And um, then uh, the next thing that uh, we do a lot is educational workshops here in the UK. I facilitate them myself or my colleagues. Like I, uh, there is another person called Sid Chaha. He's not with us today, but uh, and we we travel and we talk about the Indian culture, which is uh, very much present in in the in, in UK. At the same time, uh, which can be which the parents here are uh, very keen for their uh, children to learn at the same time. So that is something that we facilitate quite a lot in this uh, in the country. Um, I run a, a dance school called uh, called Bhag Lakshmi's Academy for Performing Arts. So one of the major things that we do is we train the students here in the UK, um, and uh, we travel back to India. We uh, use the musicians from the India, and and then we do this collaboration with them where the, the, the dancer, if, if the Indian person from Indi from UK wants to be an Indian dancer, what all they need to understand. So that, that, that is one of the things that we do. So that those are the musicians, they are the top, top class musicians from India and she has been training with me for two years just for this one show. And then um, we traveled and we did this. At the same time, the, the girls above are also my students here. And um, we have been practicing a curriculum called from the ISTD. And next, uh, this coming to in June, uh, 60 of them are going for, a, for an examination, which will qualify them to be able to facilitate um, uh, workshops or being an Indian classical dancer in the UK. Plus, um, we have all, um, FIPA has been collaborating with uh, uh, Kathakali artists in, in, in the UK uh, where we also do HLF uh, funding so I have been touring with them for the last three years where we go into small villages and where we we try to tell them what Indian art is all about and uh, how much uh, 
we have similarities or different differences and we try to bridge that gap in between um and uh, one of the one of the the good thing that's happened to us is um while i was in india we met the minister of culture for um, for india and he is uh, very supportive of what we do here at aha for brit india and he would like to take this forward with us so i think uh, that is something that uh, we would love to uh, take up on and uh, explore the possibilities so if there is anything you would like to know i'll be available after this and you can come speak to me thank you so much